Hey guys, welcome to Shit Just In. Shit uh, Just In. Shit Just In. Get off the table. What a fantastic name. It is. I, I, we didn't even think about it. It just came to us. I know. We didn't spend 45 minutes thinking of a name for a <laughs> no, stupid thing at all. Idiots. No, that'd be but, stupid. Uh, Justin is probably wondering why we're here. Uh, probably. <laughs> Well, remember the Batman sequel to the Man of Steel film that wasn't a Justice League build-up for the new Justice League film that is actually a Man of Steel film that isn't a Batman film? Oh, yeah. Well, there's a new picture of a Batman. <laughs> there is. <laughs> yes, there is indeed. There is. And it's very fucking good. <laughs> it is very good. But, obviously, it's going to have to be me. Uh, quite a few flaws, well, not flaws, but things that I'm just sort of like, yeah, it looks good. I'm talking about Batflick in this. Mm. Nothing about the Batmobile. I'll get to that. Batflick. At the moment, he's wearing Adam West's cowl. No. No, he's not. He's wearing Frank Miller's cowl. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's wearing Adam West's cowl. That... He's been to his house, he's taken <laughs> it off the stand, he's popped it on, and he's gone to set. That's no, what he's done. I completely disagree. This is Batman, not big, stupid, massive ears. No, because they were functional. They had radios and stuff in them. No. <laughs> this is just... That's just for decoration. That has no point. That's more... Um, what what would you call it? Like, adept for fighting and stuff. Well, no. It's like... If it's you not think like of he killed people on his ears. He should have done. <laughs> he should have done. done. I mean, look at the, like, the Batman Beyond Batman. He had massive ears. Yeah, but you also have rocket boots. I want rocket boots. <laughs> we all want rocket boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but so I'm not particularly a fan of the cowl. Um, I know, I know, all joking aside, it is more sort of true to the, um, the original sort of Batman drawing. If you look at the... Because um, one of the first things um, my fancy said when she saw it was... He's fucking massive, but he is. he's, I mean, he is built. I mean, we saw that photo, um, uh, early, no, late last year, where he was just coming out of the gym, and yeah, yeah. that Batman t-shirt, and he was pretty fucking big then. But so he's like, uh, but it's like, like fat, bulky muscle. And I don't think it is, personally, but if you watch The Dark Knight Returns, uh, uh, animated film, or you read the comic, yep. see, because he is a bit older, it is a lot more stocky. That's uh, true, but they're, they're taking quite a lot of age off him from that character. Oh, no, they are, and, and and that's understandable. But if you look at that picture, and then you look at the um, the Dark Knight Returns Batman, it's very, 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 not just costume-wise, but build. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, especially in the movie, um, which is the one that I've seen, I've obviously not read any of the um, the, the original books. Good. Um, but right. It's a legend. Well, he is indeed. Um, but the costume was literally just a piece of cloth. That's all it was. Yeah. So all the, the contours and everything, that was just his actual frame. So from the looks of this, this almost looks like it's been sprayed onto him, like that's using that spray exactly, closing. That's exactly what I said. It looks like he's just, this stand there, we'll spray this on, we'll pop the cowl on, it's got the cape attached to it, mm. and that's all you need. We'll stick a transfer on your, <laughs> on your chest for your, <laughs> your Batman logo, and that's it. It is also a huge... That logo. It's pretty Cost big. The biggest one has been in any, any of the films. Which yeah. Is, um, and it's not as it's not as defined. It's not as pointy as as all the Batman um, logos. Again, just like Frank Miller's. Yeah, that was just it was just something that was like stitched on. Yeah, it wasn't like, like a separate piece of plastic that was attached onto it for just ostentatious reasons. Like like you say, you don't want it to sort of take away from the functionality of it get that it looks fine so the suit is well you can only sort of really see it from the sort of chest down but yeah, it looks it looks fine it looks like it is it's not just tactical body armour and you know it's all plated and I'm, you know I'm sure it'll probably go oh yes you've got Kevlar and blah 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 but it looks more like it's just a piece of material that he's just got on it and it's a lot more to fuck. functional's probably the wrong word to use but it looks a lot more uh, mobile than the Bale, well, the Nolan trilogy uh, bat suit. This looks like he could actually fight in it. Yeah. And be and be very quick. Yeah, he doesn't need to rely on 
sort of everything. He's just sort of yeah, fatty, and he doesn't need anything else with it. Well, look at the size of his fucking arms. I know, yeah, but I mean, you know, you could get rubber suits that look exactly like that. So, yeah. as I... more pictures and stuff will come out, you'll get to see it. Um, I dare say that it is a very, very thin suit because of how big he was in that photo. And that photo was from quite a bit ago. It is, and you, you'd hope that he's... He's um, continued the regime. Absolutely, yeah. And well, he's... I imagine he has because, uh, I, I think you said this on, on one of the podcasts, um, that people are throwing so much at him and giving him so much hate that he is putting the effort in to just yeah. turn around and say, well, well, look what I pulled off. Yeah. I've managed to, I have nailed this role. Whether he does or not, it's a different story, but I, I get the feeling that's the kind of actor that he is. And he's literally got this part of Batman. He knows the hate that he's going to get. Mm. And he's just gone balls deep into it and going to do the best that he can. And yeah. So I, I can only commend the amount of effort that he's put into himself. Mm. You know, the role, the script, the props and the special effects and all that, all that aside for how much effort himself he's putting into yeah. it. I can only afford that. That's really good. That is just sort of saying, yeah, all right, you don't think I can do it, but fucking watch me try my best. Look at that chin. That's a Batman chin. Do you know what I see? I see Clooney's chin. See, I don't. I, I do, unfortunately. See, well, to be fair, that's not a bad thing. No, it's not. I mean... The chin was probably the best part of the film. I, absolutely, yeah. I mean, every part when he wasn't talking or doing anything, when he was just stood there, that looked fine. <laughs> and there's no nipples either, so that's a good thing. Well, yeah. But if, if the cloth is as thin as you say it is, it's a bit of a cold night. Oh, yeah. Treat yeah. for the ladies. No, no, no. He might, he might have plasters on his nipples. <laughs> yeah, it's that like chafing. chafing thing, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I do actually see that, and you might disagree, and I might actually offend somebody, but I, it's not meant as, as offence. Um, I actually see Mr. Kevin Porter in this picture, to a degree. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. But I still think that Kevin Porter's actually got a better face, like the actual reveal part of the mouth, the chin. I yeah. Personally, I think that Kevin Porter's got a better area to fill that hole we've I mean we've said this plenty of times and um, but we did genuinely believe it and we're big fans of Kevin Porter but I think Kevin Porter is one of the few people that pulls off both Bruce Wayne and Batman yeah um, aside from obviously Kevin Conroy and the animated shows and the, the Arkham games he's got, he's got the look he's got the voice he, everything's just per- he, he needs a fucking a big screen role. Yeah, I, th- I think it's only going to be a matter of time. If people keep pushing for it, it'll sort of get him noticed, and hopefully that's exactly what happens because that's what I I'd like so. to see. Well, at the same time, I do hope that Affleck nails this. I really, really do. Because if he doesn't, I think it will do him everlasting damage. See, I am um, like like I said before, you know, the likes of Daredevil and this that, and the other. It's down. He's just read the lines and done what he's just told. If yeah, the yeah. film's bad, it's going to be because of Snyder. That's, yeah. that's why it's going to be bad. There's there's too many factors to worry about at the moment just to say, just to pick out one thing and say, well, he's going to be bad because... Because then you could say, well, if he's going to be bad because, they're all going to be bad because. Yeah. Because it's going to be, for whatever the reason is, it's going to be the same reason for all of them. Exactly. It's an unfair point to just jump into and say, it's going to be shit, why? Because it's Ben Affleck. Yeah, <laughs> not, not necessarily. Look at look at Keaton. Keaton was a stand-up comedian. And then yeah, yeah. Um, look, I get, we've said it before. Not treading on old ground again. But Heath Ledger, everyone kicked up, everyone, yeah. and then it turned out to be one of the best performances of the year. Uh, but that's um, enough about um, Batfleck in the yes. issue in the get up. Um, the the superstar from. I mean, if this is the first still that's really going to come of this new. Justice League, Superman, Man of Steel 3, whatever it is. The Batmobile. Oh my god. The Batmobile. See? I'm, uh, it looks amazing. From what I mean, you can't see anything. Really. You can see underneath it. Well, you can see under the back of it. And yeah. it already goes to show that this isn't just like some paper mache carbon fibre cutout that they just dropped on top of something. They've built this. Yeah. Just like they did the Tumblr, and it's going to look and be as good as the Tumblr. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to go out on this, and I'm going to say, when we see 
either be in motion or just pictures of it, I think this is going to be my new favourite Batmobile. Just from just from the bits I've already seen, because yes. it's got that perfect long line of like the '89 original Tim Burton Batman, but then it's got this sort of like chunky tactical tumbler feel to it as well. I think it's going to be a mash of the both, and I think it's going to be the best one. I think this is going to be the big screen incarnation of the Batmobile from the new Arkham Knight game. I knew you were going to say that as soon as you said an incarnation. Yeah. yeah. Because that's exactly what... Because you know how much I fucking flip my shit when I saw yeah. that. Because um, that's basically I, what it is. It's a mixture of the Tim Burton and the Tumblr. Yeah, yeah, it is. But it's sort of, it's still sort of quite short, if that makes any sense. It's still quite sort of stocky. It's quite high, like a tank. Yeah. Whereas this looks like it could be a bit more stretched out, a bit sleeker, like a sports car kind of... Well, not a sports car, but that kind of feel to it, you know? Like yeah, a, yeah. A, a fast urban vehicle, rather than just like a big military all-terrain thing. Um... So I, I absolutely love the picture. I cannot wait to see more of that. It, again, it could just be, like, it, it could all just be an absolute massive flop and a disappointment, and it could oh, never yeah. be used and that sort Easily. of stuff. Easily. I uh, mean, my absolute worst fear for this is that it, something like the, um, like the, 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 it was like the Z4, I think it was, or Z5. No, it was Z4, it must have been. Uh, four. In James Bond, um, Tomorrow Never Dies, I think. No, um, The World's Not Enough, sorry. Um, the car is, as you know, with any Bond film, like the Bond girl, who's going to be the Bond girl, who's going to be playing Bond, who's going to be the baddie, you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. The car is, just, uh, you know, what's the car going to be in the new Bond film? And that one, it was the Z4, this nice sporty convertible. It was in about three scenes, then got cut in half. Yeah. And that was just like, well, what? This, that's, a, that's as much a part of the Bond sort of story and lore as, as everything else that goes on there. And that's exactly the same for Batman. The Batmobile is as much a part of Batman as is his utility belt, or the Batwing, or Robin. It's so, going to get cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that, but I, I'm just hoping that it gets screen time, that, and like good actual combat. Oh, time, not just, oh, here's Batman in his car. Got to remember. Yeah, I think he's going to like drive by. <laughs> Never see him again. McDonald's, yeah. Um, but, got to remember, this is a Man of Steel film. So I think we're going to see the Batman <laughs> Sorry, film. I don't think it is anymore. I no, think we lost it's... the Man of Steel film about a year ago. Yeah, it's... It's not anymore, it's no. not, and no one can say it is. But it's not a Batman film. Then why is Batman the first character to be released? Well, because we've already seen Superman. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, there's still going to be a new suit, there's still going to be a new look to it. Why not? But... Of course there is. Never know. I, I'm going to say that Superman will look different and Henry Cavill will look different in it than he did in the first one. Maybe, you know, the, the, what happened sort of shaped and changed him, whatever. But for the first sort of serious stills that have been taken, this is the first one. And the fucking other good ones. Well, these were actually taken on just on a, on a uh, camera. Yeah, just on the, on the set, yeah. Not like a camera. But there, there also haven't been pictures from the new film of Superman. Mm. So, why is Batman first? Because Batman's the most important one. Because he's the most popular one. Yeah. Not that I'm knocking that. Don't get me wrong, this is a good, strong start. It's exactly the same, and a lot of people disagree. But, Days of Future Past is probably going to be one of the biggest films. But, it's going to be a Wolverine film. Because Wolverine sells. And I love Wolverine, and I love Hugh Jackman. But Days of Future Past isn't a Wolverine story. No, there's Sentinels now. That's my. That, that's what I'm. I don't care about the rest of it. I want the Sentinels. <laughs> and from what I've seen, no. Again, but, too small. Too small. Oh, there's going to be the, the various models. In there. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that what they've they've shown. It's exactly what I said before. Is, you know, something that's quite big, but it's sort of you know more human and shaped. Human. And then something steps on it, and then there's your sentinel. Or like, it'll be, I, I'll tell you what, exactly what it'll be. It'll be like the last teasing, oh, we've got a new one, Sentinel Prime. Yeah, and it's just kind of... Rhino's going to come in and impale a sentinel. <laughs> it'll be something as stupid as that. Oh, fucking lively. Mm. Um, but, if I uh, look at the uh, Batman picture with the Batmobile, where yeah. he stood next to it, <laughs> if you zoom in... Uh, on the uh, bottom left hand corner it looks like there's a joker face just laughing 
Yeah, I can. You can sort of see. It's like the back wheel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just like a bit like the lights and the smoke running off the alloys. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't look too much into that. <laughs> it looks more like Casey Jones from the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hockey mask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it might be. Never know. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm I'm loving this uh, this picture. It's a good picture to start with. Looking forward to some more. Really, really am. Absolutely, and I'm hoping that. If that's the sort of, I mean, look how much detail is on that Batmobile. Yeah. If they've done the same for, you know, sort of like Cyborg's get up and one at Wonder Woman's outfit, she doesn't really wear one. But well, new, 50, new 52 Wonder Woman's got more of an outfit. Um, yeah, but it's still, I, I, it's, it's, it's the, spandex and, you know. It, um, Justice League War. That's yeah, she had like a, a very full, similar to the. That's not actually New 52, but. No, no, but she had like a similar. uniform in that. Yeah. Yeah. But it, again, it's sort of like all skin tight, and you know, they, she's not really super ripped, but she's still. Yeah, but she's voluptuous in the bosoms. The bosom. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I'm liking this. I'm happy with this. Yeah, looking forward to some more. And the way Snyder's going, I imagine we're going to have a few more um, tweets. Uh, um, hopefully, yeah. But I will, I will wag a finger of warning at people. Posters and stills and behind the scenes camera footage and all that sort of stuff and trailers are not indicative of a good working actually fleshed out film unless it's, not. it's unless it's a trailer for a game like Last of Us or GTA <laughs> no game trailers are the worst for it no a- way absolute worst 90% of game trailers watch think oh wow that's fucking awesome and then you go wait a minute this is absolutely nothing to do with it you and me and fucking millions of other people all they did was release a picture of the V. <laughs> it's GTA. That's a, that's a totally, that gets a league of its own, right? You always know that's going to be good. I'll shit my pants as soon as they do a V and a 1. Uh, I'll do I, exactly the same thing. I honestly, if a trailer comes up and it's literally just... Like, like the Uncharted 4 trailer, which was just fucking someone talking over a map. Yeah. If there was a link at the end of the video to pre-order, I'd have pre-ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. That's the sort of hype. People go, oh my god, this looks absolutely amazing. They go, no, that picture looks amazing. That yeah. doesn't mean anything about the final product, about the film, about anything at all. It's just a very, very well p- taken picture of a guy who looks like he belongs in that suit yeah. and a car that just looks fucking amazing. That's all it is. That's yeah. all it's a picture of. So that's my word of warning. But... I'm hoping that that is a sign of things to come. And that is the sort of level of, ooh, wow, that looks amazing, that you actually get from the film. That's what I'm hoping, but I don't know as to what that's what we'll get. Look at Man of Steel. Exactly. Every single trailer got better and better and better. And then we watched it and it was, this is pretty wank. <laughs> it was all right. It was, but it was I, I, I can tell film. you one thing. This, no matter how bad it is, will still be better than Man of Steel. Oh yeah, easily. Right, so uh, that'll do for this uh, very first edition of Shit Just In. Shit Just In. I like that, it's quite, it's quite catchy. Catchy. Oh yeah, I think we'll probably stick with that. That was like a project name we had, but we might go with that, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but hopefully as soon as we get any more stills from the, the movie, or any of the other movies that are going to be coming out, um, either this year, next year, any rumours, anything like that, anything which is kind of like breaking updates, news, that kind of stuff, uh, we're going to have a special shit just in, just for those. Um, so that's all we have on the uh, the new backpack it. pictures. It's done. It's finished. Now say goodbye. Bye. Bow. Bow. So we're getting really into this. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what? I thought, I thought it like I thought it did that thing where it sort of stopped halfway through. <laughs>